Hi boys and girls, it's Queen Bee from Honey Bee Toys, and today we are making some pretty glittery shaker cards with Shopkins. So this is really fun, this is some Shopkins that I have printed out, and I wanted to make a little card out of it, but it's going to be a really fun card. So let's start with a shaker card. So a shaker card is basically a card where you can put little things in there and then you can shake it. So I'm going to have, I have this really big container of all of this confetti. Look at how cool this confetti looks. There's just like so many little things in there. So I'm just going to pick maybe some stars and some flowers and some hearts. And I'm just going to fill my little plastic right now. I fill it in like that. And I think that's enough there. And then we're going to cut out poly polish because that's what I'm going to put in my card. So let's cut her out. Do you guys love Polly Polish? I actually have her as a Shopkin. They made her into a soap, so she, she's kind of stuck there. But that's my Polly Polish. She's in a soap. So if you haven't seen my soap tutorial, these are really fun and easy to make. I use the soap, so you can see it's a little worn out. And let's see. So how should we do the card? Should we do it like that? And we're just going to cut her out. In the shaker card, we want to put some glitter in there too. I have all this pretty glitter. Look at how pretty sparkly this glitter is. So many different colors. Um, let's pick this really pretty pink glitter there and pour it into our little plastic. Shake, shake, shake. You see, it's and it's kind of the color of the card. I actually have a lot of different color cards. I have blue and purple. Look at how glittery and sparkly these are. I have silver. I love the silver. It's so sparkly. But we will use this pink one because it matches Poly Polish really well. We put our glitter in. So I don't know if you can see. We have our glitter. And we have some confetti in there. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of this uh, hand sanitizer. You can use gel. You can use jello. You can just pour just a little bit because we just want a little bit of like ooey gooey in there. And it'll just be fun for the shaker card. You can even put a little coloring in there if we want to make it. Um, more fun. So let's see if I have any coloring. Maybe I'll put some Kool-Aid in there to make it more colored. I found my purple Kool-Aid. And while I was looking for my Kool-Aid, I found my little charm poly polish. Look at her. So, so many poly polishes. This Kool-Aid will have a love the smell of Kool-Aid, but we're not making it smell. We just want to make the gel a little colored to give it some contrast. Whoa, that gave it a lot of color. Do you see that? Let me put it against a white background so you guys can see what it's going to do there. So I'm just going to mix it in. Oh my goodness. So it's actually blue. I thought it was purple because it was grape jelly. But now we have some color and some glitter. And it's just so, now it's so colorful there. You see? And then we're going to seal this. So we're going to take a piece of tape and seal it so it's nice and tight. So I have my tape here, and I'm just going to tape the top of it. You probably want to use really good packaging tape so it doesn't leak. This is just regular tape because I can't find my packaging tape. Let's see. I hope this works. But really, you want to use packaging tape. Hopefully, this will stick. I usually use packaging tape for this. Trim the edges like that, but don't trim it all the way. So hopefully, this won't leak. You'll put more tape if it starts leaking. Let's see. Is it leaking? No, yeah, it's not leaking. So that's pretty good. So look at how pretty that looks already. So how we're going to make our card, I guess I'll leave this paper here so we have a nice white background, is we are going to take a little pencil and cut out the shape. Okay, so I cut out a square, and we're going to put our little... So I'm going to take my little packet, and I did seal it a little more with tape because it did start leaking on the corner, so you could do that. And we're just going to put it right there, and we're going to tape it on. 
so we're taping it on so that's how it looks so this is just a cool card already if you just wanted to make a card with a little bubble in it and you can write a little message isn't that really cool look at how the little confetti floats with the little glitter and now we're going to take poly polish and we want to tape her but look at this look at how cool this little poly polish is it's a little shaker card i think the purple is maybe a little too dark so next time i won't make it such a dark purple but look at how cool this little card is do you see that it has your little air bubble and then it has little glitter and confetti and you just made a little custom card. So you want to just take a piece of paper and cover this. Here and then glue it to the background so that when you open up the card it is nice and pretty and you don't see all of that. And look at that. So look at how cool this card looks. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. All of our little Shopkin friends, we should make more of these with our little Shopkin friends. Millie Mushroom, maybe we should make a Millie Mushroom. Oh, maybe a birthday cake one, that'll be perfect. But look at how fun this is. We love this little card. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye now.